Hey guys, it's Kai from the Sterling Public Library, and this is Music Moments. Music Moments is an online-only program where we challenge ourselves to think outside the box in fun and engaging ways. Our videos will be posted weekly from July 2nd to August 27th at 11 a.m. You can find our videos on our Facebook or you can go to our website, sterlinglibrary.com. When you're writing a song, a lot of composers will look at other composers to see what they've done and then try to make their own song from the composers of the past. So this week, I have a scavenger hunt for you. You are going to have to find the names of four composers. And it's okay. I'm going to give you cl some clues, okay? And you're going to have to find four composers. The last name of each composer makes another composer. And he is your final answer. So, when you submit your work, I want to see the last names of all four composers that spell out the last name of the fifth composer. And the first person to get it in will get a Music Moments prize. Okay, let's look at the clues. Okay, composer number one. This is your clue, are you ready? An important figure in the transitional period between the classical and the romantic eras in Western classical music. He composed nine symphonies. He turned deaf towards the end of his life. Okay, these are gonna be a little tricky, aren't they? Let's look at number two. He was a French composer and a music critic. He composed the Christmas hymn, O Holy Night. Okay, clue number three. A Polish composer, often called the poet of piano. Warsaw's International Airport is named after him. Okay. Clue number four. An English composer born in Germany and trained in Italy. His most famous works are Messiah, an oratorio of set text from the G King James Bible, water music, and music for the royal fireworks. Who doesn't love fireworks? <laughs> okay. Now. When you're submitting your answers, I want to see the last name of the four composers. And then I want to see you spell out the fifth and final composer's name. Okay, and the first person to get it in gets a prize. You can submit these at sterlingrodenlibrary at gmail.com. And remember, it's your moment to dig back in history. <laughs>